This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 2459. I'm Jeff Alden, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. I'm just going to remind you, because I really don't mention much during the shows, that you can always schedule time for a free discovery call, schedule time for coaching, find out about my courses, books, and guides at my website, which is TheBigGameHunter.us. It's a great resource. Go exploring in the blog. There are thousands of posts that are searchable there on different topics. So, again, the website is TheBigGameHunter.us. Besides, you got the weekend, right? So, you know, the summer's over. You know, Labor Day's come and gone. The whites are put away. You can spend a little time working on your career. Now, today's show is one where... I talk about the mental part of recession-proofing your career, and I do believe a recession's coming, and uh, we'll see when it arrives. Hope you find this helpful. Hope you give it a great review wherever you listen to the show. And now, let's get going. There's an old saying that goes, if your neighbor is out of work, it's a recession. If you're out of work, it's a depression. And Recession-proofing your career and your job search has a lot of tactical parts to it. If you're looking at a career change, it's strategic as well. But for most of you, you're going to look at changing jobs and finding a new job. And you're going to get a lot of inputs that are designed to scare you, to make you frightened uh, and panic you. When firms hire, kind of like dating, They don't want to have the desperate job hunter in front of them. The desperate job hunter is kind of like the desperate date who kind of stalks you and, you know, makes you uncomfortable because they kind of, you know, it's too much. And they don't want to see that. But the same token, they don't want to see the completely laid back one either. They want normal. (laughs) So my reminder to you is, Job hunting is mental, too. And during a recession, during times where you feel like your career and your job are in jeopardy, or both, you have to maintain the mental component as well and not allow yourself to be freaked out by other people's anxiety, even though you're going to be scared at times, you know. Watching your bank account dwindle, having to make difficult decisions, look at the kids and say... Maybe we can go another season with those shoes or those sneakers. Maybe it's trimming your different uh, subscription uh, programs for entertainment. You may have to make difficult decisions or uncomfortable decisions proactively and if necessary in the fray that allows you to buy staying power so that you're not going to run out of money. Most of you won't, but... I know the mental part of this because I know I have this at times too. So be aware that mental is as important, sometimes even more important than the things you need to do. Keeping yourself in uh, grip, uh, uh, in, in a tighter grip, reaching out to people maybe outside of your family from time to time for support, whether that's a coach like me or former colleagues, stick, stay away from those, but, you know, real friends, not like the casual friend, but the real friends who know you well, and talking about some of your struggles with them, not because you're trying to be desperate, because you just need to release it from time to time, and all you need to say to them is, I don't need you to say anything, I don't need you to do anything, I just need to talk, uh, so please listen Um, And I really appreciate that support. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Altman. Visit my website, TheBigGameHunter.us. Go to the site. There's a ton in the blog to help you. Plus, you can find out about my courses, books, and guides. The courses you can rent or buy. They're very inexpensive. Same thing with the books. Also, you can schedule time for a free discovery call or schedule time for coaching with me. I'd love to help. Lastly, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Have a terrific day and be great.